Well, how you doing? <laughs> Another view. Yeah, just look cool, gotta look cool, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> subject matter I don't normally have subject matters because I just waffle um, and that's <laughs> that's my style Wolfie waffle but now the subject matter maybe not quite so relevant for myself because I live in the country but still happens but more so in big cities uh, is the increase in bike thefts now the police aren't going to do anything about it. The government aren't giving the police any money to do anything about it. It only seems to me make headlines when um, a car driver gets carjacked. You know, very little news coverage when a biker gets bike jacked, jacked or acid thrown in the face or whatever. So, what can we do about it, guys? You know. I think you can make citizens arrest and you can use sufficient force um, to detain someone so if they've been aggressive obviously you, you could match that as long as you're not uh, too much so but isn't it time we started running sort of vigilante patrols you know media is so good now where we can have somebody on site in a few minutes you know it could be like um, first responders you know it's almost like a, a fire brigade or a police force but for people with bike crime you know it's no good ringing the police if somebody's breaking into your shed but can't you bring ring a few of your mates you know to come around with uh, whatever weaponry are allowed and I'm carrying, uh, I don't know if you can't see it, but uh, I'm carrying a weapon that you're allowed to, uh, to use legally in the UK. And I believe uh, my friend Bambi600 has got the same one, which is a spray, which uh, you spray in the faces of your assailants. If they've got the visor down, you spray it on the visor. They can't see them, basically. Uh, if they lift the visor to see, you spray them in the face, don't you? So, it disables them, but it's totally legal. So I now carry that on my belt, and I won't be afraid to use it. Uh, so armed with sufficient uh, things like that, should we not uh, get this massive biking community together? Because there's I mean, you see about four million of us. And uh, we need to start policing it ourselves, I think. I can remember a few years ago when I was... Um, and I don't know if I've told you this story, so if I have, please ignore me. But I used to collect firearms, mainly antique ones, but they're quite expensive. So I did collect replica ones. And the then Home Office Minister was Hazel Blears. And she stopped replica, blank firing, that guns that looked like modern guns. You're allowed a uh, replica cap and ball type, but uh, nothing that looked anything modern. Uh, you were legally allowed to own them, but you weren't allowed to buy them anymore or sell them. And I've got a few which I'm stuck with. Even things like a, a Colt 45, you know, the, uh, the old Western gun. That's now illegal to sell and buy. Unless you're a reenactor and you have to prove you're a reenactor. But anyway, that's by the by. I was a reenactor. Uh... So I wrote to Hazel. I said, Dear Hazel, uh, I'm a woman who lives on my own. Well, actually, I wasn't there. I had a boyfriend. But my boyfriend, I said, was goes around business, which he did, um, two or three weeks at a time. And I've been trying to get hold of a blank-firing weapon 
So if I heard someone into my enter my house, I would ring the police and then discharge the blank firing weapon to scare the burglar away. And Hazel Blair's office rang back, not rang back, Hazel Blair's office wrote to me, I've got the letter somewhere, said, oh, if you were to do that, you'd be li liable to imprisonment. Not the burglar, who's probably come in with a knife or whatever, a screwdriver to stab you, but uh, me discharging, I didn't say I was going to aim it at them, I'd be in my bedroom and they'd be downstairs rummaging through my drawers, as they do. Um, but yeah, that's illegal for me to do apparently. Now I personally believe, and I know that this is probably the law in America, but it isn't over here, if somebody's entering your property, they forgive all their human rights and entitlements, and you should be allowed to deal with them with a sufficient manner. And firing a blank firing gun at them, I can't see how I would have been liable for imprisonment, but that's a stupid law in the UK. My personal view is if somebody breaks into your house, you should be allowed to kill them. Sorry, but I know it sounds a bit too harsh, but, uh, you know, they've invaded your property. You don't know what they're going to plan to do. They could be kidnapping you, raping you, whatever. I would have no qualms into getting my shotgun and shooting someone if somebody entered my room. Sorry, <laughs> that sounds a bit mean, but that's just... It scares me, to be honest. Anyway. Uh... And I think the same thing should apply to bike thieves. If you, the police are chasing a group of bike thieves, I think they forgo, forgive, I think they forgo their rights, human rights or any other bloody rights, and the police should be allowed to knock them off the bike. If they get seriously injured or killed, tough. You know, and if you say, oh, we don't know if it's a speeder or a bike thief, well, don't run from the police. If you're a speeder and your bike's legal, then you're just going to get a few points and a fine. Pull over. If you know. Oh, bloody gritty, shitty, bastard stuff. Um, you know, if, if you're going to run from the police, they're likely you're going to get knocked off or stung with a stinger. You're not going to run. So the only ones who are really going to run are the scummy criminals. So, we need to change the law, folks, in this country. We can use extreme force to catch these pieces of shit. Because people work hard for the money. And bikes, as I said before, are very special. You know, they get into your heart, like a car. So, the police need to take extreme action. But in the meantime, I think we do too. We need to follow these shitbags and detain them. Now, I'm not suggesting beating them up or anything like that. Um, just to detain them. What do you think, guys? Am I being too extreme? <laughs> or not extreme enough? In Wolfie's world, I mean, a bike theft should be a uh, death penalty, but <laughs> that's in my world. But in the real world, um, yeah, what do you think? Let me know. Okay, guys, you take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>